So for this vlog, I'm going to show you a little bit of the um, jumping sessions with my both my RRP horses. So I have Sharpie here. Uh, and this was the week of May 10th. So uh, this is one of his jump schools back after an event. So I kept it pretty simple. I only had three jumps in the arena. Uh, and for Sharpie, it's always been a work to get him to rock on his hind end. So you'll see I have the ground poles set before and after the jump. Um, that is to help him um, really work on his arc over fences. So they're set at nine feet before and after. I um, mean, he's starting to get better. As you see there, I made the mistake. And so it's actually, you know, we're going to make mistakes. So it's good because it makes your horse have a little bit more self-awareness. I like to teach my horses to have responsibility when it comes to coming to the fences because ultimately we are going to make um, mistakes and so that's how you build the partnership. Um, and you see here he's really starting to arc over the fence coming to the oxer. This is probably his hardest thing but he really tries and rocks over it. So I was pleased with that. After every Good try, I really give them a rub and let them think about it. So this I got in, maybe a touch close and he caught the back rail. And I made sure I came back around, making sure I get him to rock on the hind end a little bit. And he jumped it great. So the following week, uh, for his next jump school. Uh, similar course is actually I just added a couple uh, more things. So I added more ground poles and a couple more fences. And again, this is to help with the distance in getting to the fences. So I'm able to ride to the pole and then I allow um, for everything to work. So these are set a touch lower and He's pretty funny when it came to this one because he wanted to jump really far over um, the ground line this week. So always interesting during the weeks. They kind of uh, fluctuate in their weaknesses. Um, but his technique is getting much better. One thing with this horse is that I really have to stay still with my body. And you see he took those two rails down. And then the next time he's quite careful. I do like to have the 4x4s as my top rails. It can help the horses learn to be a little bit more careful. And um, he tried really hard over those. So I was really pleased with them. Uh, this horse was qu is quite brave. And so that can be sometimes difficult. When you have a really brave horse, they can lose um, the tendency to be careful. So it's really important that I kind of establish uh, how he uses his body, how he uses his shape over the fence, and um, making sure that he is aware and responsible. So here I use my turn to sit him on the hind end, and then we get into the ox and he jumps it, takes the front rail, and then he's trying to jump over the last uh, ground pole on the back side. But again, that's all in working with his shape. So. While he is progressing, there's still a lot of work to do. This, he jumped lovely. And now I'm going to make sure I have him balanced on my outside rein, my outside aids, being nice and quiet with my body. I can tend to drift a little to the left, so it's always making sure you're self-aware of what your body is doing and, not a, and that it's not affecting the horse. And this, now he was much careful. And he sat back and jumped the vertical and waited. So I was very happy. And then, also during the trainings during the week, I like to play with a little bit of liberty to mix things up. And so this is his uh, first time in the big arena. So I've done lots of work in the round pen, getting them to work with the whips. And so I'm just working on him staying connected with me and kind of mimicking what I do, keeping his eye on me. Um, and he did pretty well for his first time. I was really happy with him. Um, and he's staying pretty good. And then he figures that he's in the big arena and he goes to leave me right here. Um, but when that happened, it was no big deal. I waited until he came back. They always will come back generally and gave him a good rub. I'm a bloodhound, not a horse.
Really, sniper? I guess that's one way to work your back. So for Sniper, this week, he's quite the different horse uh, than Sharpie. He's very brave, but he's also very careful about how he does his feet. Um, and so he likes to really snap his knees over. And one of the things I'm really working is to get him to finish his bascule. So he tends to jump really good on the front end, kind of midway. And then when he's coming through on the landing side, he doesn't quite follow through with his neck. Um, so that is probably the biggest thing that we work on. And so he did really well over that oxer. Um, and again, I'm just working. I have lots of long um, straightaways to the fences. So I find it's good to practice how straight you can keep your horse um, and gives them something simple to think of. So again here, he has a lovely canter. He's very powerful and, and it's almost too easy to sit him back on the hind end. So I have to tend to remind myself to keep coming forward because um, I can tend to sometimes get him a little too collected. Um, and you want to make sure you have that power, but you also don't want to be riding backwards. So you saw he took the rail there. He doesn't really like to touch the fence, so the next time he was quite careful. And then I made sure I rewarded him. And again, he's starting to use his neck a little bit better. I got him to do a nice change. I'm using my outside rein, outside leg to help turn. And I make sure I stay soft with my elbow, soft with the body, and there he really stretched over. And so now, the jump school a week later, I had a little bit more technical stuff and you can see he just every now and then he tries to be a little too careful and doesn't quite follow through but that's what the exercises are for. Um, and these exercises are a bit tight and you see he really jumped well over that oxer. He's a really fun horse. You can really feel the power. It's quite a different feel than Sharpie. Sharpie's a little bit flatter um, while he still has power but this horse has a lot of raw power. So. Um, just two compl completely different type horses, um, but still kind of working on the same things. He gave me a really nice shape over that vertical. Now coming to the in and out. And he was just so clever and very careful. I was very proud of him. So I came through the other way and he jumped really well and nailed it. He was a very good boy. And same with Sniper. I like playing with the Liberty. I think it's really important for the horses to really have a varied um, type of training schedule. So he is, like I said, both the horses are completely different personalities. Um, uh, Sniper can be a bit bold and kind of cocky sometimes, but he can be very, very connected to me. Um, and then Sharpie, while is a little bit different, and he can still kind of be in a shell. So. Sniper here, this is his first time in the big arena, uh, and he felt really good. He was really listening. You see his ears. Um, he has that one ear on me, and he keeps trying. He just wants to hook up. He just wants to come in. So I try not to push him away too much, so I want to reward that type of behavior because I want him to stay with me. So I make sure that I can get him to kind of mimic me here I'm getting him to back up off of my pressure and then as I change directions I'm gonna place my hands in the going forward and he gives me a trot now I start to go and I call him back a little bit and there you saw I got a little nervous so I smack the whip I teach them to come into the pressure of the whip so even though he got a little nervous I'll make sure and rub him tell him that it was okay but it's very fun to work with the horses when they really figure out the game. So again here, he goes a little farther away. And I try to use a cue word like here before I use the whip or anything like that to make the sensation of coming to me. And then I'll suggest with my hands. And here I just backed away when he wanted to come to me. And again, he's got the ear. And here he goes just a little bit further. He's just testing the limits. And so then I ask him to come in. And he does. It was really well done. I was really proud of both horses and how far they've come.
paling suaminya And voila. Clean ish dolls. I just gotta wait for the plumber. Yay!